Wherefore I put you in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God that is in thee by the putting on of my hands. When Paul wrote this verse to Timothy, Timothy was really in a bad position. He was in the city of Ephesus where he was the senior pastor of the church. And there was so much persecution taking place. Believers were dying in the local stadium. They were being killed by gladiators and being eaten by lions. Many of them were being taken down to the harbor where they were being sold in the slave block. Women being sold into prostitution. People being slaughtered in the central marketplace. It was a horrific time for believers. And a spirit of fear was trying to grab hold of Timothy. And maybe like you also would wonder, you would think, is God going to be faithful to me? What about me? Is God going to be faithful to me? And Paul wrote to Timothy, the book of 2 Timothy, and he said, oh, Timothy, when I, when I call to remembrance the unfeigned faith, that word unfeigned means a real faith, which dwells in you, which dwelt first in your grandmother and your mother Lois, and I'm persuaded this same kind of faith is in you also. And then in this verse, verse 6, he says, Wherefore I put thee in remembrance, that thou stir up the gift of God which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. When he says, I put thee in remembrance, the Greek word is ana memnisko. The word ana, A-N-A, means repeat it, do it again, do it like you once did it, repeat it. The word memnisko means to recall something or to remember something. And when you put the two words together, it means to remember again. And in fact, it can mean to regather memories or to recollect. You know, sometimes people say, oh, I have a recollection of that. That's what the word means. I'm putting you in remembrance of these things. I'm helping you regather, regather the memory of how God was faithful to your mother and your grandmother. I'm helping you recollect how God was faithful to you, to your whole family. God's faithfulness is a part of your family history. I'm putting you in remembrance of these things. I'm recollecting these things, regathering all of these memories that thou mightest stir up the gift of God which is in thee by the putting out of my hands. Now, if you're listening to me today, you might be one of those people who would say, oh, I just wish there was somebody to pray for me. If somebody could just hold my hand or talk to me on the phone or lay hands on me. But what do you do when there's no one to talk to? What do you do when you don't know who to call and there's no one to touch you or lay hands on you? Paul's telling us we need to hit the rewind button. When we're looking at the future and the future looks bleak, we need to put everything on pause and we need to remember. Just like Paul was reminding Timothy about God's faithfulness to his mother and his grandmother and to him, he's saying, Timothy, I'm reminding you of these things. I'm helping you relax, recollect all these memories, pull it up, dredge it up, think about it again. Now here's what the Greek says a little different from the King James. I'm reminding you of all these things. Now, here's what you do when you can't find anybody else to pray for you. I'm reminding you of all these things, listen, that by remembering them, you might stir up the gift of God that is in thee. And now Paul tells us one of the most powerful tools that God has put in our hand is the power of memory. You see, when you look at your future and you think you have new hope, you've just got a bad memory. Because if you turn around and look at your past, in your past you faced things just as bleak, just as difficult. You didn't think you'd survive those things either, but you're still here, you're still alive, you're still eating. Most of you could probably stand to lose a little weight. You've been pretty blessed, by the way. God's been really good. We can even see it on your bones. And now you're looking at the future despairing, wondering if God's going to be faithful to you. Hey, 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 you need to hit the rewind button. You need to go back and walk through every time in the past that God's already delivered you, already saved you, already financially answered your prayers, rescued you, healed your body, restored your marriage, brought your kids back home, got you another job. I mean, you thought it was impossible, but through every single situation you have survived and you're all right. And rather than just focus on what's in front of you, which would terrify you, you need to stop and remember. Like Paul said, 
I'm reminding you of all these things that by your remembering them, remembering how God saved you, remembering how God freed you, remembering how he helped you, by remembering them, you might stir up the gift of God that is in you. By the time you walk past all of those past memories and remember everything that God did good for you in the past, by the time that you get up to the present and look at that mountain that's in front of you right now, that mountain will get smaller and smaller and smaller. Your faith will be stirred up that you'll look at that mountain and you say, you're going to move just like every other mountain moved. That's the power of memory. I'm reminding you of all these things that by remembering them, you might stir up the gift of God that is in you. Take a little time today to remember. When I was a kid in the Baptist church, we sang a song and I sang it with all my heart. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, See what God has done. Maybe that's what you need to do. Your fear will melt. Your hesitation will melt. And you'll be stirred up to face the future. It's been great to be with you today.